Welcome to the Spencer Mansion Incident, where Seven Days to Die meets Resident Evil. Our task today is to build a gyrocopter and escape Spencer Mansion. And to do so, we're gonna have a limited amount of gear. So far, I have a full set of clothing. My name is Jill Valentine, and I have these three stars training manuals. If I check the recipes on these, I can craft a couple of things that will give us some skills and some perks and bonuses. I think I will go with cardio, knives, and pain tolerance. Just consume these, and we should get some extra skills. And I have 15 rounds of 9mm for my handgun and a knife and a flashlight in case things are getting a little bit too dark and we can't see what's going on. But for the most part, I think I'm going to have to roll with the weapons out in case we encounter zombies or other creatures within this place. Okay, I don't know where to go. As far as I know, there is it's a big sprawling compound, perhaps a basement as well. They were doing some some sort of biological testing here that went wrong. That's what the incident was. And this last thing over here is first aid spray. And I'm also, I don't have a backpack with me. So everything I'm carrying is carried in my pockets. So we have a little, little bit of a limited inventory space. And that looks like a blood stain here in front of the fireplace, right? This door here was unlocked. I think there, there could potentially be some locked doors. Yeah, this one here is jammed and it won't budge. So I guess I'll go left first. Here we go. Get a zombie right here, I guess. Let's see what they can do. Oh, not much. Just sliced the top of her head right off. And uh, yeah, what's going on outside? Really not much. Can I? Yeah, I can break the window, but I can't get outside. Going outside's not gonna help me. We're in the middle of nowhere. We need to get the gyrocopter parts that are within this place. Assemble a gyrocopter. And that'll be our ticket out of here. Okay, we've got a whole shelf up there full of vultures and a businessman over there. A couple of zombies in here as well. All right, I don't dare to risk the pistol seeing how we have such limited ammo for it. So I don't know, I guess we have to just trigger things and oh, we good? Yeah, I think we're good. I just um, got some sneak damage on that guy. I don't know if these birds are gonna wake up or not. But if they were going to wake up, I, I think they would have woken up by now, right? So let's proceed with killing Lois here, who is a tough one. Yeah, and I think we're good here. Okay, okay, a little ammo pile here. Handgun ammo. Hit it to pick it up. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got another magazine for the pistol there. Nice. Are we loaded on this? We are, so we're up to three magazines. Okay, good, good, good. Three clips, I should say. All right, another unlocked door up the stairs here. Another businessman. Let's just hit him where the sun don't shine. And see if we can finish things off with a good decapitation. Okay, there could be secrets pretty much anywhere. Look, there's nitrate in that little piece of wood there. Okay, so we need to probably investigate everything try to take everything we can get locked door there oh that requires a key though okay so be on the lookout for a gold key skeleton key yet we'll continue checking to see if we can find like anything hidden behind the paintings candle can i have that i cannot have the candle okay we do have a, a an awake zombie here somewhere not sure i woke her up somewhere and she's going to be thrashing around for a while we have one at the end of the hallway here let's just try to sneak up very carefully. There we go. Oh, here she is. There we go. Done. And another ammo pile here. Handgun ammo. Hit that. Okay, we are stacked on ammo now. Got okay, here. We got a locked door. What is this thing? Okay, I can't jump. So this is the, the limit of my jumping ability right now. That's jammed as well. Okay, a little bit of a dead end back here then. Not surprising. It's, it's, it's a whole sprawling mansion. So I don't expect that we're going to be able to navigate very freely around here. We'll have to go around, find keys, open up hidden passageways. What about this door over here? Was that also locked? No, that's unlocked, okay. So I guess we are heading up further, up to the third floor now. Okay, we've got um, a couple of zombies here so far that I can see. Take care of this guy. Decapitation, we got a crippled not only 2-5 here. Shout out to 2-5. Oh, off with his arm. And dead. Okay, what about spider webs? Nope, nothing useful in there. <laughs> I mean, oh, what's this? The Book of Curses. Okay, let's take that and have a quick peek at it. A creepy looking book you found on the ground of the third floor. Let's read it. 
the four masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. You see a key embedded on the back. Will you remove it? Okay, yeah, it could be that gold skeleton key that we're looking for. As you remove the key, it slips and falls onto the floor. You notice that it has a crack on it now and looks like it could snap easily. Okay, so maybe one time use then, and that's not even the same key as the one we saw before that we needed. That is the sword key. What about this one? Nope, will not budge. Okay, I don't think we have the correct key then. This one's jammed. Oh, I unlocked that door. Didn't, did I? I, I think I did. Okay, so this is going out. Yeah, this is the dining room that we were at earlier. Oh, with the weird mannequin that's like looking over everything. That's creepy. There are some doors down here at the end of the hall. This should be going back out to the main room where we came from. Which doesn't help at all because there was a staircase that led up here. Okay. Well, I think that means we've sufficiently... Let's just open that door there. We've sufficiently explored that direction over there. Let's try... Let's try this direction over here to the right. We'll do this. We'll try to do this in something of a methodical fashion. Sit down, Tommy. All right, what do we got going on in here anyway? This is some kind of a art gallery here with an interesting setup right here. What do you suppose this was for? Don't know. Let's try this door here. This door is locked, but I unlocked it. Okay, oh. I'm, okay, so I had four of these skeleton keys here, or sword keys. I'm down to two now, so it seems to unlock some doors, but not all of them. Who's down there? Whoa, dogs. Let's just close that door now and get the gun out. This is a good opportunity for the gun, I think. Here, we're gonna have to do this as quickly as possible. Open and open fire. Oh, the fire rate is bad. Come on, man, move your trigger finger. Another one back there, I think. I can barely see very low light. Yes, got him. Okay, well, there goes half a clip right there, unfortunately. Very slow reload speed. Was there like a handgun skill I could have taken? <laughs> Maybe I should have taken that. Well, more ammo at least. Okay, and then around the corner, we have a bunch of more dogs. Oh, run. Ow. Okay, and close that door. All right, I think we've got both of them on the other side this time. Trying to go for headshots. It's a bit tricky. There we go. Okay, do you suppose there's anything on these dogs that we need? Should we try nitrate? Um, What's nitrate going to be good for? I don't really know. Can I check? Recipes. Used to make gunpowder with a reloading tool. Okay, so we can get into ammo manufacturing at some point, it seems. All right, any more dogs around the corner here, or are we looking pretty good now? Okay, these are, as far as I can tell, not searchable. So, oh well on that one. Continuing through the door in the back. Iron door there takes uh, some sort of a silver type of key. Okay, lots of different key types then. Um, actually just leave that door open in case we, we have to sprint back through here. Oop. Bathroom and a soldier. Okay. Stand up tall for this guy. He's gonna hit hard. Close that door. Do zombies open doors? That's an umbrella security service officer in there. I don't think- I don't know if zombies can open doors. I think they potentially can. Although he ain't doing it right now. Okay, go ahead and just open it up for him. Finish him off. What were you guarding in here? Some handgun ammo and the the little bush there. Otherwise, not much going on in here. Okay, on a whole crew back here. All right, that room is clear. What was going on over here anyway? Not much, lots of just rooms that don't look like they have a whole lot of utility. What's going on here anyway? Really nothing, this is, this is the <laughs> the box room. Ah, rich people. They do such weird things with their money, like make rooms like this. Why would you make a room like this? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, somebody's hanging out back here, though. Some kind of a sitting room. There is a weapons bag back there. Quick sneak attack on him. Who did I wake up in the process, though? Close that door. I think oh! Where did you come from? Did I literally just walk right by you? Oh my god. Okay. Go away. Oh, she must have been behind the couch, and I didn't see her there. Okay, this is a dog whistle. Right, okay, and shotgun ammo, and wait a minute. Insert broken shotgun, it won't budge. 
Okay, so I find a broken shotgun and I stuff it in that bag and it gets repaired maybe and I get a real shotgun This is a whistle used to get the attention of dogs that could potentially come in handy Let's hang on to that. Although I only have one more pocket left. So if we start to find some more stuff I, I don't know. We'll have to see if we can find a, a box that we can start putting our stuff in. Also, I'm kind of tempted to... Oh, yep. Zombies. She, op Arlene, opened that door. So they definitely can open doors after a couple of seconds. Yeah, tempted to use the first aid spray, but I think I'll give it a little bit more time before I commit to that. All right. The room of Steve's is clear now. Ah, what is this plant over here? A green herb. Right. Right. That would be used to uh, to make first aid or something, right? What is this? Recipes, wait a minute. Heals 160 health over two seconds. Medical knowledge heals 216 health over two seconds. I did not take medical knowledge. I think that was one of the initial skill things. But also you can mix it to make better healing items, I think. Oh, definitely, yes. Substantial healing from this mixed green and red herb here. So I should try to hang on to that for a while is this that's not an herb that's just a decor decoration plant holy crap massive loot room back here okay get the light out so i can see something for once and uh, okay blue herb right there jill's lock pick i don't have any inventory space can i oh i can use this this is my new storage bin okay perfect take some of this junk that I have please see if I can grab that blue herb and right now we have the mixed green and blue herb that's 240 health individually it would be wait a minute it would be 240 individually what benefit do I get for mixing it then I guess none other than it takes up fewer inventory spots so go ahead and craft the mixture and 240 health I out of 2000 yeah I think it's about time to take that and uh, just recuperate all of my health back maybe not all but some okay what is Jill's lockpick oh some sort of a fancy lockpick here with her lockpicking set Jill is the master of unlocking okay so we can try some of the locked doors again oh kerosene here uh, more green herb as well grab those uh, e to pick up body disposal, some more handgun ammo, all kinds of goodies in here. Anything else that I'm missing? Is that more kerosene up there? It is. I think the kerosene would, well, it's either used to catch stuff on fire or, I don't know. Oh, for making Molotovs. Okay, you'll need something to light it with. Recipes, Molotov. Okay, I was thinking it might be a fuel source for the gyro, but I don't think that's the case. Body disposal. You can read this note for your journal. Um, scrap? I don't know that I want to scrap it into paper. Let's just put that away. We'll hang on to it for a little bit. Looks like we're in a position where we have more than one stack of ammo, so I'll stash some of that. And let's continue exploring. I guess this is our little safe room now. Okay. Try to make a mental note of where I am right now. With all these twists and turns though, <laughs> it's not easy keeping track of things. This is a very complex layout. Oh, okay, we've woken up three zombies here. This one here was a scientist, a crippled Umbrella Corp scientist. She must have worked here or something. As for the rest, I don't know. This was some kind of a resort place. So people would kind of come here from all over probably just, who knows who it was. What's going on in here anyway? Okay, some books. Not sure if that's gonna be useful or a couple of zombies here. We'll uh, let the crawler through if, well, nope, I was trying to close that door behind him, but I I missed it, All right? Down, what are we looking at in here anyway? Lots of bookshelves, none of which I can search. Whoop, we do get some handgun ammo. Should I be using the handgun more or what? What is this here? This is a botany book. Okay, does that help with like uh, growing herbs or something? Oh, wait a minute. You can read this note from your journal, like my journal journal. Okay, here we go. Body disposal. Oh, okay. So by picking those up, it unlocks this big entry for me. Okay, body disposal. The one that we found downstairs, it talks about uh, these beings, quote unquote. Uh, they appear to be dead, but in fact, they come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. So I... Does that mean that these guys are gonna wake up again soon and that I need to actually decapitate them to prevent that? 
oh geez that that took a lot I, I i cut it a lot and then i had to shoot it three times to do that yeah because like all these bodies are still here are these everyone's gonna come back to life oh my i've killed a lot of zombies so far i'd have to go back and chop all of their heads off well i've managed to chop a few of them off already there we go all right i've chopped everyone's head off that was in that pile back there i don't think anyone's left over here but uh, I'm going to pay attention to that, because if zombies are respawning or reanimating, then uh, we will have to go through the process of decapitating all of the dead bodies. What was the other one that we read, though? The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. Yeah, nothing new there. We know how to mix herbs now already, so... Ah! Zombies in... the closet? Here. Take her out, and I guess... Yeah, oh good, that was easy. Sometimes it's a lot more difficult to get the heads off. I mean, I can only imagine the, uh, this little hunting knife trying to get through a, some vertebrae. Probably not easy, although it's seemingly getting easier for me as I go along. I'm learning. Okay, that door is locked, although, I mean, I, c I don't know if I could use the lock pick or how to use the lock pick. Pick lock. Nope, I can't pick the lock. Okay. So I give up. There's a zombie here, and another. Off with the heads, and looks like this hallway is clear. Okay, these doors, both of them, appear to be locked. I have run into a dead end. This one down here requires the sword key, though. I have some of those. Let's run back and get one. What was this one? That was the silver key. And this one? Ah, this just goes back out to where our... Oops, I can't jump. To where our safe room is under this staircase. Okay. Give me those keys, or perhaps just one of them at a time. I'll put the lockpick away as well. I need to kind of limit what I'm carrying here. Limited capacity. Okay, should be able to open that door there, which goes again back out into the main foyer. Crap. <laughs> I'm wasting my keys. Hopefully, I don't need more of them kind of deeper inside the facility. No, it's good. We got to open things up so that we can travel more efficiently, but I still have not found the silver keys and that I've got like four or five doors now that require those. So, okay. The other direction to go, I think was this way. Nope. Silver key again. And this one. Okay. Here we go. Something new. Couple of zombies. There's a satchel there as well. That could be some supplies for us. Oh, and some red herb back there. All right, let's take care of business on these guys. There we go. Right here, a lighter, right? It was talking about a lighter when we were looking at the kerosene. So now we have that. Is that like a, like a tool? Oh, it, yeah, it kind of is. It's like a flashlight or it's, you know, it's, it's like a candle. It gives me a little bit of ambient light, I think. And that is is locked and requires some kind of a silver medallion or something i'm not sure what that is so we've hit yet another dead end i think yeah there's nowhere else to go here that i haven't been yet unless we get some keys so from here um where am i going now i think i have to go back to the main foyer room which is kind of convenient because there's this new pathway that i've opened up to get there through here and uh from here there's this door, which leads outside. Okay, okay, there's that one, and then there's... That one's locked, and that requires another new, different type of key that I haven't found yet. And then... This one here, oh geez, that requires the Umbrella Corp pendant or something to unlock. I have no idea, but uh, that had like the Umbrella Corp logo colors on it. Right, so... Of all the options, I think the only one that we have is out the door this way, where... Well, what does that say? Frantic Dan on Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, shout out to Frantic Dan. Frantic Dan is the author for this, and Frantic Dan has also helped me out with some modding things before, so huge shout out to him. Okay, we've got one decapitation, and... I gotta work my knife into the other guy. Right, what are we dealing with out here? Oh, sh they were just burying people over here? That's That's crazy and unsanitary that is locked so no way in there for me and uh, oh geez okay door going down locked requires some kind of a mask to open that's interesting as is the garden over here with dogs inside i think this is oh no i can get through here okay i was thinking it might be blocked off there for a second 
Is there nothing here? No? Okay. I guess we're gonna try and get back here and... Ah! Jeez, man, the thunder is loud out here. Alright, we have a couple of zombies to kill out here. I might just risk some gunfire a little bit. Alright, difficult to see, but I did kill a couple of zombies right here. Okay, from where we were a second ago, I've wandered all the way around the house and I didn't find anything except for some zombies. I did get attacked by a bird. Nothing particularly exciting, so I'm gonna head back out. I didn't see any, like, door that I could get into. I found one jammed door, but for the most part, it was just a big, long walk that did not produce anything of importance. So what are we, what are we doing here? Yeah, the mask. I feel like I'm missing something here. What, what am I missing here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've just been wandering all over the mansion here and I, so this is where we um, have a little I guess base of operations over here. I found some extra plants while I was out and about too, and I found some zombies and I managed to decapitate them, but if you just proceed further through the hallway, there's this uh, door that's locked here, there's this one that's locked here, different types of keys though, and then there's this one that I just opened, which, right, <laughs> leads to the dogs. Oh, fortunately, this is actually a good little spot to light them up. There we go. And right, this is like the little garden area. So that's where I came out before I came outside. I couldn't really find anything to do outside except kill a whole bunch of zombies. But here we go. I think we're back on track now. I do have the lock picks with me because I thought that might be useful for opening a door. I couldn't figure anything else out. Shotgun ammunition there. Turns out I was just on the wrong path. And okay, here we go again. I found another dead end. Okay, I've certainly missed something in my travels, although I've already backtracked and looked over everything. I've tried to open every door. The only thing I didn't do so far was try to use the lockpicks that I have, or the lockpick kit or whatever it is, on every single door. <laughs> I, I need a master key, man. There's so many locked doors at this point. Arlene, do you have a head? You have a head. Why do you have a head? All right, once I figure this out, it's going to be painstakingly obvious what I was supposed to be doing. Do you guys have heads? Why, why are there so many heads around here? We don't need heads. Right. From here, I've gone right, I've gone left, I've gone up left, up right, I've gone center, and I can't go down. <laughs> What's left? Let's see, do I have any of the other keys over here still? The sword key? I guess I'll bring those with me and see if that opens one of these up. Yeah. Oh my god, I found the way I was supposed to go. Man, this place is such a maze. Umbrella scientist here scared the death out of me. It's been a long time since I've seen a zombie, so pardon my surprise to find her just standing back there. What's wrong with you? Go down already. Off with her head as well. Okay, we're back on track over here. Oh. Okay, is this like an elevator here? Okay. Oh, down at the basement. Are any of these doors? No. Okay, I do have the sword key and my lock picks with me, just in case. And, oh, that was the sword key that opened up this, okay. Just, yeah, put the flashlight away for two seconds here. We're in the kitchens, I think. Oh, red herb. All right, gotta be a little bit careful here. I'm starting to run out of ammo. What do we got here? Uh, it looks like three and one of them's a crawler. Whoop, okay, ah. I was gonna say, let's go over to the firearm, but I actually might have a pretty decent bottleneck right here. We have the high ground at least. Oh, it's a it's a tricky, you know, reaching downhill with a, ah, with a knife. Yeah, it's time. Let's get the guns out a little bit. Nice controlled headshots if we can. Let's just wait for his head to, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't stop there, yeah. Wait for his head to pop up out of the floor a little bit. There we go. And chop, chop. Okay, make sure we're searching everything here. Any supplies that we need, anything we can take. That is jammed, will not budge. We have some handgun ammo here. I guess I'll take it. I don't wanna leave it behind. I did read there was a, a little tool tip that I read that said basically, you know, you don't need to pick up everything. You're gonna pass by it again. You might be able to just leave some stuff behind. And we have an actual elevator here, which is jammed. Really? Another dead end? Seems like everywhere I go, it's just... It's like one room and then it's like, nope, you need something else to go any further. Okay, jammed. I don't think that needs a key. I think that just means that that is like, you don't go that way. Right, so otherwise this place is pretty empty. I guess I'll take the nitrate powder in case we need to 
make some ammo later. I find it a little hard to believe that this elevator over here would just be non-functional. Come on, let me in. Well, I guess that was kind of a bust. I was very optimistic that me finding this place over here was going to change everything and I was going to be back on track, but no, not the case. Oh, I just, I found another new door, but this requires some kind of a green key. Oh, what about this one over here? I don't think I've opened that before. Ah, locked as well. What is going on here, man? Oh, I hear, I hear a zombie. Who did I wake up? I think it's a burnt zombie, of all things. And it sounds like he's outside. I can hear him kind of loafing around on some grass. Ah, okay. Wait a minute. Have I not been to this room here? No, I think I've been here, but there is some... some ah! Whoa, it's a soldier! Where did you come from? A crimson head? Ho oh, oh, ho! Oh, what is this? It is a very tanky soldier. Okay, let's... We don't need to reload. What are we doing here? Kill that guy. What? is going on here off with the head there okay for a second there i was thinking i haven't been in this room before but i do think that i have been in this room before i don't think i harvested up the plants when i was here though at least okay another dead end here though well for now let's just stash up some of the stuff that i've been finding out and about and uh jill's lock pick jeez i guess i gotta bring that with me i don't know what that opens but i don't want to be without it when i come across the item that needs to be unlocked. I think at this point, I've been looking for the way to go for like, uh, about 20 minutes now? Maybe I'm just not good at this type of a puzzle here, but um, I think I need to maybe head back outside and look around out there. See, that's a door that goes outside right there, but, oh no, that would actually go out into that little caged area. There are some dogs out there. Uh, I do have the dog whistle. Wait a minute. What if I have to use the dog whistle to get the zombie dogs to trigger something to open it up or something like that? Worth a try. I got nothing else to do right now. Right, so we're outside. We've I've killed many zombies out here. They should all be decapitated and so no risk of seeing them again. But um, yeah, I got to walk like all the way around the building here. <laughs> this just doesn't feel right, but... I'm gonna try it anyway, for lack of any better options. Yes, here is the spot, and there are some zombie dogs in there. Sleepy ones. There is some loot. I can't reach my hand through there and grab it, though. And uh, there's some kerosene, I think that is there, maybe. Why would I want to get the attention of these dogs, though? I would want to get their attention to see if they could open that door. But uh, then again, getting back here doesn't do me any good. There's just some loot back here. That's it. I'm so lost right now. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. Oh. Yeah, oh, another jammed door here. Can't pick that open. Dead end back here. Great. Uh oh, I can hear another crimson head. Just reload. And uh, yeah, I'd rather be in a position where I can see where this guy's coming from. Oh boy. It's a different one than it was before. Oh. Yes, off of the head, we get another one! Oh, crap! Come on, come on! Okay, two more shots. Make them count. Good. Close that door. Reload. Oh, jeez. Yes. At least one more. I can hear, I think, multiple. Let's just bring her in. Take care of her. Yes, here we go. Another one. He can open the doors right. Just shut the door. We can slow down any more if they are approaching. And... Come on, finish them off, finish them off, take them out. There we go, okay. Do we have to decapitate? No, these ones will despawn, okay. So not so much worried about these guys. They don't give me anything, do they? The question is, where the heck did those guys come from? Oh, okay, I need to go back to the storage room, I think, and uh, mix up some herbs, see if I can get some healing in, because I am in rough shape right now, and I don't want to be unprepared the next time those guys show up. We got one the first time, we got four the second time, so this could spiral out of control relatively quickly. The thing is, I'm at a total loss for what to do next here. I, I've tried to open every door. I think I've, I've tried to search every nook and cranny here, but I'm gonna have to recruit your help to complete whatever task is next. So if you're familiar with Spencer Mansion or you have any ideas for me, let me know and uh, we will revisit this in a couple of days. Anyway, my friends, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure and I will see you hopefully in the next one.
Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.